Nazi Media, Staff U.S. News, Puyallup, Washington. Cover photo courtesy, Como. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A barbershop owner in Puyallup, Washington, was reportedly shot and killed inside of his own barbershop, while in the middle of cutting an eight-year-old child's hair, yesterday. An ABC News report said the incident happened at JQ's barbershop in Puyallup, Washington, at around 5 p.m. on Wednesday evening. Photo, Tacoma News Tribune. Police said they were dispatched to the location after receiving multiple reports of an employee being shot at the business. Greater than the business was occupied at the time of the incident by several individuals who are cooperating with the investigation. These individuals informed responding officers that the suspect entered the business and went directly to the booth where the victim was cutting an eight-year-old child's hair. For the witnesses, the suspect entered the booth and shot the victim multiple times, a Puyallup police spokesperson said. The child was not physically injured. The 43-year-old barbershop owner was pronounced dead at the scene. The suspects are still at large. <music> Nazi Media, Staff Philadelphia, PA, North Philly Cover Photo Courtesy, 6 ABC Action News. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A teenager who was reportedly injured during the Monday afternoon shooting on a SEPTA subway train, was actually the suspect who shot and killed a 21-year-old man on the train, according to Philadelphia police investigators. A6 ABC Action News report said police had been searching for the shooter of the 21-year-old victim. That victim was taken to Temple University Hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly after arriving. A second victim arrived at the hospital a short time later. He was suffering from a gunshot wound to the arm. A 16-year-old, who was originally reported to be an innocent bystander and victim of the shooting. Photo. CBS 3 Philly. Investigators said the teenager got onto the train at the Broad Street and Susquehanna Avenue stop and attempted to rob the 21-year-old victim. The teen and victim reportedly got into a struggle before the teen shot the victim multiple times. Fourteen shell casing were recovered from the scene. The victim, who was licensed to carry, shot the teen in the arm during the attack. The 16-year-old showed up at the hospital a little later. When questioned by police, the teen told them he was shot on a basketball court. The story changed when the teen's mom arrived. She said she knew he was the person who killed the man on the train. The teen eventually confessed and admitted that he was the shooter on the subway. The teen showed police where he hid the murder weapon after the shooting. The teen was released from the hospital and immediately placed in police custody. Charges have not yet been filed in the case.